<laughs> hey, you already know what it is. It's the Al Joseph Show. Al Joseph Show! We love the Al Joseph Show! Woo! Al Joseph Show! Al Joseph Show, hey! I just want to say shout out to everybody that's watching this. Hey, God bless. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Mary. And you're watching the Al Joseph Show. <laughs> okay, now we got independent uh, artists and then we have uh, artists assigned to a label like Take Nine and Tech Nine is probably, he is the biggest independent artist in the industry. And then we have smarts that sign to a label and they're like one and done. So uh, would you, when, when you start buzzing, when, like when you start, you know, really take, when your career really, really takes off, do you want to sign to a major label or do you want to stay independent? I'll probably say independent. Uh, not for my whole career, but for the majority of it though. Okay, I feel um, you. Just the way like I've been looking at my favorite artists from like mm -hmm. J. Cole. Probably not Big Sean as much, but um, J. Cole, Mac Miller, they you know, their foundation was then. Yeah, kind of core fan base too. Yeah, so like when they did get signed to the major, they never they changed really, up. Yeah, they weren't really tripping about their fan base and yeah. everything. So like, I don't know. I just love the feeling of being independent. The way Chance does it. Yeah, I feel it. And uh, seeing him at some ends, and he's not even on a major label. Bro. Chance the rapper's independent. Yeah, okay. straight independent. And so when he was performing at some ends last September, mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, like people. I haven't listened to him, but I, I'm oh, starting to. It's just crazy, but uh. It was just dope because he had came out with Kanye, with Vic Mensa, with Pusha T, like all these big names and he's yeah. not signed. You know, like if he can do it, I know I can. It may be a little harder since I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, but I'm going to beat the odds. Like, at the yeah, end of just, day, so. just have faith and believe in yeah. yourself and then just keep grinding. That's keep what I got to keep man. grinding, keep working really, hard. That's what it's all about, dude. The number one thing I can tell you, when you have people doubting you, use it as motivation. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. a true story. So um, I was reading his comments on this, this big YouTuber, YouTuber named Black TV. Shout out to Black TV. Um, anyways, I commented saying that um, some celebrities are kind of a joke because they make it seem like anybody can get famous and become a celebrity. Yeah. Somebody commented saying, I'm never going to be a celebrity. My show is trash. I screenshotted it. So when I, five years from now, or I can do it right now. Like I can put them on blast saying I'm a celebrity now and stuff. But just use it as motivation. Like when somebody doubts and talks shit about you, just you know what I mean. Yeah. Just uh, it's all motivation right there. Yeah, man, <laughs> for real, man. And you mentioned um, I was gonna ask who, who's your inspiration because I heard when I first heard you uh, rap, I think you sound like Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. But who, who would you say is your inspiration? Just, uh, you mentioned J Cole and Mac Miller being your favorite artists. So yeah. they your... like outside of rap, I do listen to a lot of music outside of rap, which is. I feel like it's needed if right. you're a musician of any genre. Just listen outside of what you're making. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I'll give you top three rappers, and then I'll just give you some outside music. But top three would probably be J. Cole, Big Sean, and uh, I want to say Kanye. But Kanye's been acting a little stupid lately, so <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> but, oh, my God. Yeah, that like was. those three are my favorite. And then outside of, uh, outside of rap, I listen to a lot of jazz. Jazz? A lot of, oh, that's lot of jazz. Um, I listen to Art Blakey, obviously Miles Davis, mm -hmm. Freddie Hubert, um, uh, damn, Kenny G. I got into Kenny G. I listen to uh, Duo Tones a lot. That, that, that was crazy. And then Fleetwood Mac is really dope. Um, to be honest, I never heard of none of them or singers, but I mean. Yeah, man. It's just, <laughs> it's just dope because I produce as well. And I listen to a lot of jazz and like a lot of instrumentation just to get some inspiration. I feel you. And that's a, that's a, a lot. You put it into your music and stuff. For sure, for Cause sure. Cause that's what Jay-Z and Kanye West did in, uh, what's that song called? Um, um, fuck, I forgot the name of it. Paris? No, it was, uh. Otis? Yeah, Otis. Otis Redding. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a blues, uh, what is he, a blues person? Or he's singer? a blues singer. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Blues but yeah, he's. It makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sing, but you know what I mean. Yeah, right? Yeah, that sounds crazy. Man. Um, about your music, um, your name, your, 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 your rap name is Teddy Oso. How did you come up with that name? Teddy Oso? Um, all right, so my name means gift bearer in West African. Yeah. My name is Aji. I shortened it down to gift bearer on Twitter, and I was like, because I was DJing at the time, too, and I was looking for like a really cool DJ. Really? I see yeah. you spinning. I was spinning, bro. I was like, Jam Master J over here, man. Yep. Okay. But um, I didn't like it at first, so I was like, I'm going to just mess around with the bear names. Mm -hmm. And then I saw Teddy Bear, and I was like, it's cool, but I need, Switch it up. I need to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. And most of my friends are Mexican. 
and uh, you know, speak Spanish and all that. So I was like, you know, what's better in Spanish? Which is also, also Teddy Oso. And then the girls call me Teddy, and the guys call me Oso for like a man. And girls love teddy bears. They squeeze them and hug them all the time. You don't even know, bro. You don't even know. That's how it is. The name is crazy, man. The name I'm is crazy. You. And um, you gave me some of your music uh, to listen to. I heard Citrus. I heard all three of your songs, but yeah. this one song in particular is called Citrus. Um, and I quote: You said, "I'd rather live the life." of accomplishments than live long. Can yeah. you explain to the audience what that means? Yeah, um, man, I remember writing that line too in my room. It's just, me and my friend had this thing, like we feel like we're gonna die really young. Because right. Like we wanna be great, and all the greats die at like, you know, like 27, well, yeah. like really young and shit. So, we've always told each other like, man, if we do like die young, we're gonna be having all these accomplishments and goals just you know, just done. Why not have it now rather than later on in life, you know? You yeah, have and so like, now, so. and I don't know, I don't want to be like 80 years old with nothing to like look back at. Exactly. I'd rather be 27. Have back. a legacy, like yeah. Tupac, Tupac died when he was 25. And we're still talking about it. Exactly to the day. You know day. what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want my life to be is when I, whenever I die, like, I see. Michael, 50 years old. This, this crazy thing about he died at 50 years old, his mm -hmm. whole lifespan of just career, it's just, it's just accomplishment, so success, crazy. everything. Yeah. So I'd rather you know live a short life full of accomplishments than living a long oh, life of just nothing. Yeah, I feel you. And I feel like I don't know. I feel like today's generation we're just doing that, and I can't do that. This generation is for, like we. Man, um, we we kind of want to get every, started on this generation. Oh my like, goodness, it's, just, it's crazy. Yeah, um, we gotta step it up. We yeah. need somebody to you know to to to, to bring. To, yeah. We need like a uh, peace. We need um. We need somebody with motivation. We need yeah. somebody with knowledge to. And, and, their knowledge to the yeah. kids and, and that's stuff. like that's why one of the reasons why I started rapping was because my dad he man he schools me every day on just something yeah I, at first I didn't like that when I was little because man it's annoying he's always blah blah all this mm -hmm. but growing up and realizing what the what life is about it's like I needed that yeah know? definitely I feel you and a lot of people they don't have that you know yeah my dad he's really into history and stuff and I feel like it was my duty or just my goal to put that in my music so when people listen to it, you know he caught that line yeah. Like, Dang, you know, like when I do this blog, you know. I don't want to listen to. I, I want to hear your words. Yeah. And, as a beat over, that's what I'm trying to do. You yeah. Know what I'm so that's that's what I wanted to do with my music. And yeah, I feel so. You. That's what's yeah. up. I'm what's glad up, you man? you want to come up too. And then we Appreciate mentioned the Kanye West. Um, how you feel about that? <laughs> so Kanye West and West Khalifa have a beef. I don't know if you heard about it, but how you oh, how yeah. you feel about that Twitter beef? <laughs> uh, man. Okay, that beefing on Twitter. That whole <laughs> fiasco on Twitter was yeah. just. It was not needed. It was really not needed, but but in the midst of both of them dropping an album, it was perfect. Perfect promo, which is perfect stupid promo. Like, Maybe it was for publicity stuff? For sure. Like, for sure. Like, I, dude, Kanye's dropping, or Swish, now known as Waves. Waves. And see how we're talking about it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's perfect. And Amber Rose got in on it. And then Kim only posted a selfie at the time, so it's like, so much stuff going on, but then it's just like. It's helping them. Yeah, that's why they're still in my mind. But I just thought it was dumb. Kanye looked a little stupid talking about how <laughs> the Khalifa Kush thing. I was just like, dude, chill. Like, yeah. Um, you, how did this start? Like, was it because right, I think so Kanye this this is him. now this is how it all started. I was watching this shit, mm -hmm. and it said, uh, "Oh, Kanye uh, switched his name the album title to Waves." Okay. Wiz starts talking about it, saying, "You know, Max B, free Max B, you feel me?" But um. Max B, he's like the creator of like the waves. Not creative, but he just really pushed it and mm -hmm. influenced like the wave term. Yeah. And uh, the fact that Kanye called his album Waves, everybody was like freaking out. And then Wiz had said something about it, and then Kanye just got into it. Oh, and they started going back and forth. And then Wiz, or not Wiz, but Kanye just had this line of just tweets. Rants and shit. Rants. Grown ass, grown man. Yes, grown man. Man. Like, and he brought the kids into it. Like, he brought his bro. wife like, into it. Sure. His ex girl into it. And I don't, I don't get how he's still talking about Amber when he got married to Kim. Yeah, Kim is a you know certified hoe. Like, <laughs> certified. I don't, I don't, know. I wouldn't say nothing like that. But it's like, dude, you're already married. Like, stop yeah, talking about the past out. like that. You know what I'm saying? What yeah, like, these? what does it matter about Amber and you? I don't know. It's just too much. But Kanye's yeah. one of my favorite rappers, but. Personality sometimes is to be really annoying. For fans, I don't know. Um, Teddy, also, you from Phoenix. How you feel about Phoenix's buzz right now? Do you feel like Phoenix is on the map, or do you feel like we have a lot of uh, man? We uh, have a lot of talent, like time that we have to put people on. Like it's gonna take time for Phoenix, it to blow up. Man, the state of Phoenix. 
Arizona in general. Yeah. We're getting somewhere, but we have still a lot of work to do. A Definitely, lot. I feel you. You know, so like when I first started, it was about two years ago, um, my senior year in high school. Yeah. When I was starting my music, there was really nobody out at my age my uh, yeah, that was actually doing, you know, the type of videos I'm making or the type of music I was making. So like, and then. Well, I, I take that back because there's another homie of mine named Slater Black, and he does. Like me and him started at the same time. Okay. And now in 2016, we're seeing a lot more progression, progression, and, and just more like more rappers trying to trying to get in. And <laughs> it's just it's okay. it's sad because like some of them aren't trying to pay their dues. Yeah, that's and that's what's you know really taking me off just a little bit. I think like um, Phoenix's rappers like when soon as they get a buzz they. They, Go just, they, Arizona. they leave. I've seen and plenty of uh, rappers and people from here do that, and it really irks me because they're right? on Twitter talking about the culture and this and that. Yeah, and you just shut this, to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah like, even if they get big, stay out. I mean, it makes sense for for them to maybe do that because the opportunities are. Yeah. You get more opportunity because yeah, most labels sure. are in out of state. I understand that, but still, like, you from the area, stay in the area. Don't move out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know, like. It's not anybody's place to put everybody on, but yeah. it is their place to at least represent where they're from. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? That helping hand does, does you know, it does do a <laughs> lot though. Like it's just, it's sad because I've seen plenty of people do stuff big here. Yeah. And they don't care about anybody else here. So you know, and then again, it's not their place to helping everybody out. But I, I know when I do my thing and I do my business, then for sure I'm gonna come back. Yeah, just help to sit down, deal, man. But Teddy, I wanted to ask you. Um, have you ever opened up for a major artist in the industry yet? No. Not yet? Not yet. Um, I've had chances to, but yeah. it's just, man, I was younger, and the process of opening up for somebody big or whatever. You wasn't was, feeling it? It was too much. Like, like, pressure and stuff? Is that what it Pressure of selling tickets, and like, in Phoenix, Arizona, it's sad to say, but a lot of people don't like support. They don't like they don't support, support their, 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 their local. Yeah, exactly. That's and uh, <laughs> when I'm out here trying to sell tickets or shirts, CDs, whatever, mm -hmm. it's so hard because I'm not on the vlogs or whatever it is, so they don't care about exactly you know artists like me. So when I just first, oh my, I'm gonna cut you off. Okay, you know, that's okay. Just like my YouTube videos, I'm doing yeah. I'm doing local time. With people trying to help them get a buzz, but nobody cares because they're local time. They're not so celebrities. Local. So you know, once that's, uh, that's sad. But. I was thinking about uh, before I did this interview it was Tupac's interview when he was seventeen. Oh really? And how at the time when he did that interview, nobody cared about. Him. Nobody cared about him. But I know five years from now they're gonna look at this. I'm nineteen years old. Exactly. And they're gonna care about it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I just know personally. I know. I believe in the law of attraction. So yeah. Right. Like. Yeah, that's how you see that true colors. I, I, yeah. When you just start and like it. it's just crazy, but uh, yeah, man. When I first started selling tickets, I was looking. I was first out of high school. Oh, really? 18, yeah, I was like 18 or so, yeah. And, um, man, it was just so hard. Like, I had a video, I had the curb out, and I reached like 5,000 in like a month or so. That's what's up. Yeah, thank you. And, um, you know, I was like, oh crap, like, I'm gonna be able to sell some tickets or yeah, whatever. Just, you know, like, a lot of people know me, but they're they're not uh, so sure about supporting people. So. That's, the, that's the fucked up thing. Um, <laughs> it's a little hard, man. I see a lot of rappers, like, uh, out here, when they're in the studio, they, they always have something that motivates them. What are three things that you need in the studio when you make a song? Uh, water. Water? For sure. <laughs> like, for real, like, water. Stay hydrated. Water. Um, you don't want to be thirsty. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be thirsty out here. But, uh, for sure, water. I need my brother. Oh, for sure, family. Yeah, I always had that, my brother there with me. And, dang, that's a good question, man. I don't, I don't know. Maybe some girls and stuff? Nah, cute girls. No, no, girls? No girls for me, man. I don't, I don't like have girls in the house. The boss is going to weed on you, get high, and then nah, just a little bit. Of that. Oh, I would stuff, I'll so. just say my notebook, man. Notebook? So, right now, water? Water. Brother? My brother. Notebook? Yeah, notebook. That's cool. Yeah. And you going to say something else? I didn't even catch you off my bed. Oh, no, it's all good. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say, but I don't know. I just want to have girls in there. It just cuts off my creative process. Yeah, and right. It just gets me in focus. I feel you. Hey. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Listen, you already know what it is. I'm Al Joseph. If you like what you see on my YouTube channel, subscribe. Peace.